All right, part seven. Let's get into it. So, like I said, I'm not even going to try fighting Millennia right now. And now we will head to the Fire Giant. Giant's Grave Post, as we got to, uh, I believe, a decent while ago. And essentially, we're just going to probably put a marker. You'll get a gray site right about here. So, you'll be right by the chains, which you will then cross in order to get to the boss. I hope I'm going. Yeah, this is the right way. Essentially, you could just follow this straight path of sorts as well. So from here, you just want to go straight. Make sure you have a Duelist Moonblade, Common Azur, Terra Magica, and Loretta's Mastery. Summon your friend. And then let's wreck this big guy. Once you get by these trees, you just want to hop off Torrent, so that you can better dodge. Target his left leg. Hit him maybe once or twice, and then roll out the way. And then essentially you just want to run straight back to the guy. And then whack his legs a little more. Once you've gotten his health down a good amount, you just want to sort of run more just far away from him, and then pop this. And you want to aim nice and low so you can consistently hit him. After that, though, he's done. Nice and easy, and I think he gives you, what, 500,000? Oh, wow, only 1,800,000, or wait, only 180,000. That's pathetic. That's pathetic. <laughs> okay, but, I mean, he's not too difficult. Just... Stay close to him, stick to him like glue, until his moon blade, and then once he pops into his second phase, just blast him with Comet Azur. His second phase is really easy, just honestly just stay far from him, and maybe stay below him so that you get a good angle. The best thing is just make sure you got a good angle so you can consistently hit him with Comet Azur. So, I try to stay at his sides, and that's second phase but you could stay in front of him if you see fit a lot of people loop around that way or some people are crazy enough to literally hop into the uh, fire pit but you just want to go this way and you'll find melina over here and what i'd also recommend is um if you're intending to platinum the game you're just going to want to pick up one item it's like a weapon some like lightning staff in the Lindel Royal Capital, uh, because it'll end up getting destroyed. It's either right after this, 
um, or right after the next area, which we're gonna get teleported to right after we rest here. And oh, I, I guess we have to talk to Melina. I as well and death are you to commit. And then just say, yeah, you're ready. And at this point, too, you might want to just get better armor. Yeah, there's a neat armor set in the Royal Capital. So, it's called the Lionel set. Very heavy, but I'm pretty sure it has the highest amount of poise, resistance, and whatnot. So. Either way, now you just magically wake up over here. Don't know how that works, but... I'm not the one who made this game, so... As usual, you just want to run straight, and you'll eventually get to a grace site. Where the heck is that grace site? Well, whatever. It's not like we need it. Oh, wow. There, there's literally no grace site. Um, if you want, you can pick off these enemies. Maybe it would have been a better idea to equip a uh, rock sling before I decided to show up here. And eh, whatever. Time to run. Okay, yeah. Um, I guess, I'm pretty sure you just take it to a straight shot. Oh, perfect. And then this time I should probably level up as well. Huh. Obviously, level up. At this point, I mean, I could put some more points into Vigor. Um... But you may want to, oh yeah, obviously, increase strength by the extra five so that I can finally equip Dragon Chris Great Shield without having to use Star Scourge Talisman for my shield. And there's a mini boss of sorts here, it's a dragon. You can kill him for an ancient dragon smithing stone, but we don't actually need it because I mean, we have no use for it. We're using magic. Either way, just run straight past him. If you just run, he can't even touch you, so keep that in mind. Um, you can come back and kill him if you feel like, or honestly, you could just stick out here and then just keep spamming spells at him. I wonder, can I? Oh, okay. Maybe that's not a good idea. Either way, another grace right here. Uh, which is pretty funny. So you can get a better shot at killing him. Either way. Essentially, you're just gonna wanna follow this path of sorts. to progress. And I mean, yeah, literally all these grace sites are very close together. I think there's a somber smithing stone bell bearing. Yeah. So, that's useful. And then, just roll off that way, and then maybe jump for this. As usual, just ignore all these uh, creatures. And then let's see, where am I going? Oh, okay, yeah. This way. I mean, it's not too hard to figure out where you're supposed to go. You essentially, just want to make your way forward. And then, as usual, there's another grace right here. Or there should be. Let's see here. 
Maybe it's a little later. For like the first time ever. Oh, okay, yeah, right down there. Another gray site. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, but this is a small area. That's the truth of the matter. And alright, so from Dragon Temple, you just want to essentially go straight. Usually you can run past, but most of the time you'll need to dodge at some point, so be careful of that. But either way, you can just hop down. Pop a healing maybe. And then just open the gate. But make sure you roll forward a little bit, because they will try to hit you <laughs> through the fog door. And it, they'll usually succeed, so be careful with that. Well, this guy, you just want to come as far as you can over this way. And then... Come dessert. If you can, try to line up both of them. Both of the god skins in the same place. And then after you've gone a decent bit. He doesn't really deal that much damage, which is why I did that move. And then just keep on using good old. Huh, he went down pretty quick. Then they'll respawn after a little while. Huh, he dealt a lot less damage than I expected. When he does that, he's gonna try and roll towards you. Just get a good angle and you're good to go. Oh wow, I got on top, okay. That's great, and then the next big guy will show up. Huh. I just really want this to go my way. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so they're done. And then... I still don't think they're able to come through it, so don't worry about that. And now there's a gray site right here, but you can also grab another gray site <laughs> within another few seconds. I believe it's this way? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this way. <laughs> yup, literally right outside, you could just grab another gray site. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well rest here and then level up. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I could do that and then just go like that. And now, no longer need Star Scourge uh, Heirloom. I can finally put the points into the Great Show Talisman. It does weigh a decent amount, so be careful of that. Either way, let's move on to the next boss. And I'll say the next boss is arguably easier. Or no, not even arguably, 100% easier. Malekith. Um, if, you have, if you've heard a little bit about Elden Ring, Malekith is supposedly one of the most hated bosses in the game. People say he's super difficult, but... With our build, he's actually one of the easiest bosses in the game. When you get through here, you just want to hop or roll. And then... Again, through here. And then it's just another straight shot. I think you're supposed to go through this way. Uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to go through that little gate of sorts. And then... Uh, I guess you can grab whatever this is. Oh, we already have the better one. <laughs> so, don't even bother with that. But maybe you could sell it for some decent rooms. 
Either way, uh, I would assume you just go through here. Be very careful of this guy, though. I'm honestly, I'm kind of unsure if I'm supposed to go through here, but whatever, you know. What you want to do is take a nice and slow in getting behind him because he's a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, I know, we didn't get much from him, but, huh, I mean, there should be a grace somewhere here, but I guess not. Pretty sure this is the right way, though, so, yeah, grace over there. So, essentially, I mean, you could try looping around that way, like, hopping that way, but that's kind of risky. Uh, you just want to hop off this way, and then activate this grace site. Alright, so from here, you essentially just want to book it as far as you can go. Try and avoid those hawks, and make sure you have the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman equipped, because that's your best way of surviving against these guys. And then also, if you want, you could unequip your Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. Once you get through here, you're essentially good to go. You can grab a somber stone over that way, but I don't have the time or patience or whatever you want to call it to fight that guy. But obviously he also disappears pretty quick, so now it's a perfect time to grab it. Otherwise, since we already have our somber smithing stone for Lusat's staff, you can honestly just go straight. Be a little careful here, because this is your only way across, and then once again, right around here, I mean, you could try sniping this guy. But, once you get here, you want to heal up. Maybe you could try, um, okay, yeah, he's not doing anything. I'm going to snipe this guy now, because... You're actually going to get surrounded once you get in there. But you try to attack once you. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Maybe it would have been better to use. Uh stone shard but whatever now we have this and we're very close to Malaketh if you're able to maybe level up but oh yeah that's, <laughs> I'm nowhere near enough to level up another summoning pool, but obviously we don't need other players. Once you get over here, you could go down that way and explore a bit. And also there's a Draconic Tree Sentinel, our favorite. He'll come to us, so you just want to wait until you're able to target him. And then blast. Essentially, the moment you're able to target him, it's a great indicator. Oh wow, okay. Okay, whatever. So maybe a little bit after you, maybe a little bit after you targeted him, is a perfect time to attack him. After that, though, just teleport back. 
So from beside the Great Bridge, I'd recommend you have as many healing flasks as you can. You only really need one or two Cerulean Tears. And then if you can, equip Malform Dragon Armor Chest Piece just for some extra defense. Once you hop into the fight, you want to target the beast clergyman so you can dodge out of his way for a good amount of his attack. And then you just want to put this pillar between you. Summon your mimic. Activate the shield and you want to have some good distance between you and him. Let's see, where is this big guy? Feel free to use Terra Magica right now. You'll, you'll be able to get in a good two hits before he decides to target you, maybe three. Huh. Keep hitting him. And then eventually he'll get knocked into a second phase. Try to make sure your Mimic here is as much health as possible for the second phase. And then once you get to a second phase, you're going to want to essentially run away. Because he'll do that big attack. And right about now, you can use Comet Azur. And he's done. Otherwise... Just stay out of his way because you want the Mimic tier to take as much health or take as much of the damage as you can. And then just use Rock Sling. Don't, don't try to get close to him. Just Rock Sling is all you need. Uh, Lindo Royal Capital. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now it's called the Ashen Capital and you get a decent chunk of runes from that fight. So feel free to level up. All you really need is, I mean, you could put some points into intelligence, but at this point in the game, it's all just whatever you want to put your points into. Although, you know, intelligence is what I would recommend so you can get rid of the helmet so that you can get some extra health back. But whatever, it's not that big a deal. Once you're here, essentially you just want to run straight. Not really any other way to describe it. You could also hop into the sewers if you haven't already. Essentially, though, you're going to want to go on this left-hand side. And you'll see this stairwell, and this is how you get to your next boss. Once you get to this point in the game, you're basically at the end. Because all the bosses are just smushed up together. There's an elevator. And arguably, these next bosses in the end game are actually the easiest of the bunch. Once you get through here, this boss is, I mean, he's sort of special. Um, essentially, you'll see him. You just want to pop this, maybe summon the Mimic tier. Either way. Just blast him as usual. He goes down very quick. There 
And he's done. So yeah, I mean, try to kill him your first try. He's not that hard at all. Just you can summon the mimic tier even before the fight essentially starts. So don't worry about him being difficult. He's arguably one of, if not the easiest boss in the game to a lot of people. Of course, only if you know what you're doing and you have Comet Azura. That's one of the reasons I love this build so much. And then the next boss is one of the hardest in the game, but he's actually pretty easy, or at least he was when I first fought him, so that should be a good indicator. Feel free to grab this, whatever that is. And then level up once more. You know, maybe I will put some extra points into intelligence just for some extra damage. You just want to run straight. This fight's arguably the one of the easier fights for us, or one of the easiest fights for us, uh, and one of the hardest fights for everybody else. So you just want to run in. This is best done the second time you fight him, because first time you fight him you get teleported right in front of him. Either way though, you start out with a lot of time. Uh, so, just blast him. He's gonna be coming straight towards you, so... Once you get him like this, he just does that attack. And he'll do that attack. It's honestly a very copy-paste fight in my opinion. You want to basically get as far away from him as you can and then just spam Rock Sling. When he does that, you can feel free to use Comet or er, Terra Magica. And he goes down pretty quick. What I'd recommend is, I mean, get some better magic talismans. There's like, what, the Graven Mass Talisman and then Ritual Sword Talisman. Feel free to use those. And then maybe Lusat Staff, if you have that and fully upgraded. You'll be able to rip through them even without getting touched in the first phase. And then second phase is just kind of copy-paste. So, you can level up a good amount more. Alright, so from here, I guess I'll actually try killing Estelle. So I'm just going to take on Estelle in here in order to get his Meteor of Estelle ability, which is supposedly the best way to rip apart the Elden Beast. Feel free to use Comet Azur, though, if you don't want to take on Estelle, because he's his own annoying boss of sorts. Either way, the moment you get in, you just want to summon the Mimic tier. Heal up. And then just rush at Estelle. When you're right in front of him, he's actually very manageable. Because... Huh. I mean, hopefully he won't do that against you, but... You have a great opportunity when he's right in front of you. Because when he's underneath you, he can do that gravity attack. But when he's in front of you, all he can really do is the blast and then hit you with his tail. 
but essentially you can't really do anything else to you. And even if he does manage to hit you, it's not really going to damage you that badly. When he gets to around half health, he's going to go into a second phase. So be careful of that. Maybe it's a perfect time to use Kama Desert. So I'll just try that. Oh. I mean, I guess I didn't really do a particularly special strategy to kill him, but hey, if he goes down, he goes down. Now that we've acquired that, wow, he barely gives any runes, that's pretty sad. Maybe one level up, but now that we have that, we can take on the Elden Beast. Alright, now before we face the Elden Beast, I recommend you come back to the Drainage Channel side of grace in order to acquire the ghost glove wart bell bearing number three so that we can fully upgrade our ash um our spirit ash known as black knife tish which is a decent amount better than the mimic tier at least for the final boss So once you get around here, you want to have some powerful spells. I would use Comet, just because it's kind of a favorite of mine. So you just want to shoot. Or use a Great Glenstone Shard. It's honestly the same. You'll be able to rip them apart pretty easily. But either way, just pick them off one by one. Terra Magica is the easy way to rip apart these enemies as fast as possible. And then that last one is all we really need to worry about. So, I guess I'll just pop this. Alright, and now once they're all done, you can obviously grab a few glove warts over here. And then And now you have your bell bearing. So from there, you could just go to the good old table of lost grace tuck to the twin maiden husks
them then buy what you need. Essentially just one of each. Oh wait, I already had that, okay. And then feel free to buy some somber smithing stones in order to upgrade Lucet staff. Oh wait, but I haven't even gotten that on this character. Whatever. In the meantime, I'll go over to Roderica in order to upgrade Black Knife Tish. Alright, so. Good old Roderica. So, Spirit Tuning, and then Black Knife Tish. Alright. And just equip. And now we're ready to take on Mr. Elden Beast. Alright, so at the Ashen Capital, you just want to rest at the Grace Site. And then over here, I'd recommend equip Comet Azur. All you really need for this is Comet Azur, Terra Magica, and Comet. Feel free to equip a Duelist Moonblade as well, but all you really need is just Comet Azur, Terra Magica, and Comet as well as, of course, Black Knife Tish. So, the moment you hop into the fight, you just skip the cutscene when that option appears. Just takes a few seconds. The moment you get into the fight, summon Tish, refill your FP, and then essentially, Tish gets in there pretty quick, apply your buffs, and then just spam Comet. Should be three or four hits. And then immediately, Radagon's going to start to fire at you, so be careful. Whenever he's doing an attack, you want to dodge towards him, and then you get a perfect opportunity to hit him with a Comet right in the face. And then just Tish will attack him again, hopefully, and then the aggro will be transferred. Pretty much every time he gets touched, even, the aggro will transfer, so be careful. Either way, you can apply your buffs once again. Share a magic uh, shield. And always remember, always use the shield and terra magic every time you're using Comet. And with those attacks, whenever the hammer hits the ground is when you want to dodge. And then it'll go down pretty quick. This is the easy part of the fight to be. Pretty careful here not to lose any HP or whatnot. But once you get into his second phase, skip the cutscene. Right here, you just want to sort of run away um, and then pop the blast. Feel free to use Terra Magica to just fill up to it, but I'm just gonna blast because this is a pretty quick fight. So you essentially just want to blast it as much as possible. Then when he does that, I mean, I'm just keep on hitting him because you want to deal as much damage as you can before he decides to run away because he likes hopping all over the map. When he does that attack where he jumps into the air, you want to run in sort of the opposite direction. Get as far away from him as you can because he'll eventually zip to the other side of the map as you see here. So you want to get close to him by sort of the opposite direction. And then right about now, you just want to keep hitting him with Comet and he'll eventually go down pretty quickly and now you've essentially beaten the entire game 500,000 runes and yeah all done you can activate that in order to get the main ending or that to get the special ending from completing Ronnie's questline or essentially you could just leave and come back, which is pretty amusing. But yeah, that's about it for me. Uh, as you can see, under 15 hours, kind of disappointing, but hey, that's what it is.